All right, get everybody, it's the dog. Yeah, it's time for more Gran Turismo 5 custom race videos. We're at Fuji Speedway GT layout, and we're. <laughs> <laughs> the bloody dog came just barked right in the middle of me trying to say that we're all driving Mazdas in this particular race. And of course some of the opponents are DLC cars such as the Stealth Model Mazda 787B and of course the RX-7 Touring Car. And golden rule is you can only use premium cars because for some reason you can't select standard cars when you use the secret options. Either way, I chose to drive my Master 787B for this race. Let's begin the replay. Also, to those who may have been offended with the previous video, the uh, Mario Kart Wii video, where I mentioned Luigi doing a certain particular type of uh, plant, I guess. I'd like to apologise to those who were offended by that, specifically the so-called Karens of the world that find everything super offensive and, you know, they call them snowflakes, I think. Yeah. And I call them a load of garbage. Way this particular opponent's taking a sweet time to move aside and let me come past. Come on, then, mate. Thank you. Number 62, are you? Good. Give me my lead. Thank you very much. Let's take a look at all the cars as they can test this race. There's me still screwing up. This is, of course, the stealth model. Number 62. Here we have the Mass RX-7 Touring Car, which as we know is also a downloadable car. Also available on Gran Turismo 6. Number 78 for this particular race. And we have another 787B driven by the computer. Had to fill out the gap by adding the REM in here. RX-7s as well, this is the Drift car, D1GP car. And we've got the Super GT RX-7. And another DLC car, we've got the Mazda MX-5, or Mazda Roadster Touring Car. This car also appears on GD6 and GD Sport. Back when I used to play GD Sport, I made a cold chisel livery of this. Sadly, that livery no longer exists. Never mind though, that's life. And we've got another RX-7, this is the 2002 model I believe. The last of the original RX-7s. RX-7. In position 9 at the moment. And my dog Kane has just pushed his way into the bedroom by pushing the door open with his nose. Being a furry pain in the butt. That's alright, he's a good boy. And we got Mazda RX-8 Tyvest 2007. And we've got Mazda MX-5 or Roadster RS-07 NC Generation. And another one, this is the RX-7 GTX 1990. This car appears on pretty much every Gran Turismo game except the Concept, I believe. I think it might be on PSP, but I've never played the PSP version. So all the way back to Gran Turismo 1, this particular RX-7, and I believe the same goes for the 1991 RX-7 as well. 
And we got the Mercer 6 25Z, also known as the Atenza. Being chased down by another Gran Turismo 1 original. 1991 Mazda MX-5 J Limited. Yeah, there goes me lapping the slow cars already, or slow ones as I like to call them. I oh, know, I just came up with the name Slow Ones because I thought it was hilarious. Yeah, there goes second place. Yeah, here's the original MX-5 out of position 15. And here comes the third of the 787s. And at the rear of the grid is the 1992 Mazda Autozam AZ-1. There goes the touring car. Hey, look how slow this thing is. Alright, that's enough for the opponents. Scroll back up to me. I'm coming round the lap, everybody. RX8 goes down one lap. I want lap four. Let's I think I liked a good portion of the cars. I did do this a couple of months ago now. I haven't done very many of these custom races and saved the replays for future YouTube videos all the way up and doing other stuff. Excellent, there goes the 1991 RX7 down one lap. A minute 28, it's not too bad at lap time, what I've done. It's a shame I didn't have the P I have the PSP game, but I don't actually have a PlayStation Portable itself. Otherwise we would have tried to somehow hack in the standard version of this car and use it and just have the premium car as an opponent. MX-5 touring car goes down a lap, it's in position 7 which is not too bad. I guess I screwed up and said the wrong RX-7. Uh, hope all of you have been keeping well as of late. I can't believe it's April already, that's gone way too quick. That means I've been pretty much doing these videos for about a year now. There's still hopefully plenty more videos yet to come, including some more WWE videos. I'll have some more Mario Kart videos planned and we've got more Gran Turismo 5 videos planned as well. I'm on a little auto Zam. You're all two laps down now. I might as well just keep it on me for a while. Mm, a bit too high on the brakes there. Not moving out of the road. Come on! It's bad enough everybody's in a Mazda. I could have made it an all Ford race. You know I'm not a Ford fan. Mazda 6, there we go, you go down another lap. Man, those MX-5s are having a bad run.
Okay, there's the 1990 RX7 once again. Yeah, they don't call it code zero anymore, it's actually given the name Zero Sugar with the, with the basic code Mario as it is. That's how old that billboard is then. Well, I don't drink that stuff, I drink normal Coke. Not very often though, you're lucky if I have Coke maybe once or twice every month, if at all. I prefer Coke over Pepsi. Unlike my older sister, who's a massive Pepsi Max person. I don't understand why she drinks that stuff, to be honest. Because I tried having Coke Zero when I was younger, and it used to make me feel sick. Like, really, really ill and unwell. So, like, screw that. I tried the Diet Coke, and that didn't do me much better. So, I'm like, fine, I'll just stick to normal Coke. time and off it goes yep all the way up there and another RX-7 gets lapped again okay I didn't realize I'd improved my lap time 7 
Excellent. lap at the very end of the race let's just pause it there because that is the end of the race and that is the end of the video be sure to leave a like or dislike I mean people are going to dislike my comments anyway because nobody likes what I say because I'm too rude for this channel <laughs> for YouTube <laughs> but to stay in contact with the content be sure to press the big shiny subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications to stay in touch with the Be A Good Dog Out YouTube channel. But until next time, this is the Dog Out saying have a wonderful day and we shall see you again.